What is going on guys, DBG here. Today we are going to be doing a video where we are going to be reacting to Ty's top 10 list in NBA 2K22, my team. So before we get on to, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Try to hit, let's just say, 285.5 thousand subscribers by the end of the month. We got like five days to do it and we are... Let me take a look at the phone to see the sub count. We're like 350 away, so it's going to be somewhat close. And also, lads, go sub to Ty. He is only 9,000 off hitting 100k. So, let's get into it. So, my top 10... Let's see, do I agree or disagree? Like, I know he's going to have LeBron Giannis in here who I disagree with, but it is what it is. I just want to say, a guy like Chris Bosh is still new to me, okay? So, Bosch he's really not going to make this list, but, I mean... Bosh is really, really good. Like, Bosh is very, very good. Like, I know Bosh... Is not going to make a list with Ty, but Bosch is very good. Maybe a month from now, we might be looking back. Bosch is like, really good. Chris Bosch is really came on the game. So I, I didn't want to put him on this list and just because I'm still unsure about him. But I do definitely okay. like this card. And a lot of this is opinionated. So if you, some of the some 100%. Of these top cards. So many unbelievable cards are in this game that it is 100% opinion. Don't make the list and you think they should. Let me also let me, uh, you know, let me know about that down below in the description. Now, before we dive into it, on the road to 100k subscribers, make yep. sure to smash that subscribe Go button. Go to him. So, let's start off at number 10. We're going to plug in Dark Matter, Kevin Durant. Six, nine, seven, four wings, okay. 10 hot spots from I don't Edward. disagree. There's really no flaws in KD outside of the 79 strength. Now, I do think, at least on current gen, it's decently hard to green with Kevin Durant. But the problem is, it. even if people don't green with him, he is still going to He'll knock hit every down shot. shots with the Hall of Fame sniper. This dude legitimately never misses shots defensively. Uh, I just I just think top 10 is a bit gas in it. Like, for me, I prefer Carmelo. Obviously, he's got what he needs. If you give him box, brick wall, the dude's absolutely incredible. Give him mismatch expert so he can cheese against some other centers. He's really, really solid in the game. KD, obviously, size up, shape, dribble style, Scotty behind the back with his release on very quick. If you like Kevin Durant, this is a very, very, I prefer, very good I prefer Mello. I prefer Mello. I just feel like for today's game, there's better small forwards out there. Maybe that's a biased opinion. I just don't think I'm in love with Kevin Durant for the time we're in. Just, that's my opinion. There are very good, uh, a lot of very good small forwards in the game. And Kevin Durant is up there with being probably at He's least good. He's top good. two in 2K. Coming in at number nine, a card that I might prefer. Okay. Okay, I'm cool with Melo. I didn't think you were going to put Melo in this list at all. I'm cool with Carmelo Anthony at nine. I love Carmelo Anthony. Hard to run even as small forward compared to Kevin Durant is Carmelo Anthony. So good. Specifically to, to next gen. Like next gen, to two, Melo's the best two guy in the game, including Cedric. Melo, Melo is better than Cedric on next gen. Not on current gen, but on next gen he is. And six, eight, seven, four weeks, fan odd spots from everywhere. Where do we start? Well, he's got the normal leaner, Melo base on very quick. Shift your style. He's got the Kobe size of escape and the Scotty behind the back. Stat-wise, I would say pretty similar to KD in general. Yes, obviously, Melo's got better strength. KD's got a better length. And it's just one of those things that I think Carmelo Anthony just has that slight advantage. Even on Cranj, and I think you can run Carmelo Anthony. I don't think he's quite as good. But you give him brick wall, you give him rim, you give him ball stripper, box, dimer, those badges... He is going to be absolutely... Yeah, he's good. unbelievable. I don't Melo's just not a shooter, right? It's not like this Carmelo Anthony is just a shooter on the court. Okay, sorry. I thought you, I thought you said he was, wasn't a shooter. It's like, oh no, he can do a lot more than shoot. He's a shooter, can make good I plays agree. with the ball. I agree. As well as having some solid defense. I agree. And his defense is there. player builds so I insane. I do think Carmelo Anthony is just an overall very, very solid small forward shooting guard in NBA 2K22. My team. Card at number eight coming in here is our... I, he, went, he went mad. Did I put Kareem... I think I put Kareem at eight as well on my list. And he was like, how is Kareem eight? Our first center in a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, I think there's I two centers definitely ahead of the rest. Kareem, and then you guys, you guys will see later Chris on Tops. at number six. For Kareem, just one of those things. I agree. You can green consist. Who's he? Who's he taken? I think I, we might have almost the exact same top 10, except I had Zion Williams, and he's probably going to put in Giannis instead of Zion. He might have LeBron in this top 10. With this 79 three ball, just a decent release. You might like him as your favorite center in the game because of his defense. Yeah, right? it's between him and KP. plays as good a defense on this entire list than Kareem Odojabar. He's just the lead on defense. 7 2 player build is just incredible. I agree. All the defensive badges you could ask for includes Hall of Fame quick first step. You can find one with some shooting badges or even apply them to your, your you know, to Kareem yourself. You're looking at obviously a top two center in the game, and I still think people are sleeping overall on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at number seven. 
Add I'm okay with it. I'm cool with it. Giannis, uh, I don't agree. I prefer, I think Mullen's better than Giannis. I think there's a few players better than Giannis. I think Melo's better than Giannis, but I'm not going to argue. I don't agree, but I'm not going to argue. I'm tired of people disrespecting Giannis. At the small four position, I personally prefer Giannis to a guy like Kevin Durant. You guys may be like, what side? Really? Yes, he's going to play I'm better defense. Opposite. I get offensively, he's not doing much for you. But the thing is, he's got an incredible release. And if you want to talk about the 83 three ball, okay, it doesn't take a rocket scientist for 15,000 MT. Get Monty Williams and you're looking at an 88 three ball. It's not hard to, to find a way. Obviously, if you got Don Nelson, you're looking at a 91 three ball. It's not hard to find a way to boost the three ball. Once you do boost the three ball, guys, you're looking at a Giannis base on quick. Fundamental dribble style yes. is great, but it's yes. Giannis release is thing. good. It's not brilliant. It's good. First step. You just got to know how to use Giannis. It's that simple. 100%. 100%. I 100% agree. If you know how to use Giannis, he deserves to be here. The problem is that when we're talking about the top 10 cards in the game, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't need to know how to use a top 10 card in this game because honestly, there are at least 10 cards in the game that are training wheels. I play the game you for you. You can't, you can't, here's, here's the deal, guys. For Giannis, you can't overstay his player build, right? There's nobody agree. in 2K that has the player I agree. build. If Giannis, he has his own player but build. But the exact reason why he shouldn't be in the top 10 is you said it exactly. You have to know how to use him. Considering the fact that, like, there are 20 cards in the game that are going to be successful for literally everybody. If you don't know how to use Giannis, he's not that good. She's just, you guys know, long and lengthy. Giannis will forever be him in 2K. This isn't the year for Giannis. I know DBG has mentioned it multiple times. This is the worst. But he's still at top. This 10. is the worst Giannis has ever been in my team this year. Guard in the game. And here's my number six. KP. Dark Matter, Chris Steps. I agree. Now, if you like Kareem more than Chris Steps, I'm all I'm all for you putting Kareem ahead of Chris Steps. I'm What's the top five? Seti, Luca, MJ. Seti, Luca, MJ. David Robinson, maybe? He's going to put LeBron in his top five, isn't he? He's going to put LeBron in his top five, three. isn't now, he? Now, for me personally, you just think Chris Steps... Am I forgetting someone? Provides that little bit more for five? you. I mean, you could say, well, on the defense, man, he's not great. Well, he's got box, intimidator, post lockdown, no, he and rim he's, he's all on Hall of Fame, and he's seven. No, anyone who's ever used Chris Stapps, Chris Stapps is him. Trust me, Chris Stapps is him. So he's not Kareem on defense. I'm not ever going to say that, but KP can definitely hold it down. Shoots so much better though. Court. Sixteen. A lot of Hall of Fame badges. shooting badges in there as well. As some good finishing badges. And my the big thing here is you got to give him Don Nels. You give him Don the interior perimeter speed goes up as well as defense rebound. There's not as as an important coach as Don Melson for Chris Depp's sports teams. I mean, he's Monty probably Williams the, the same most thing. important coach for a player in Monty Williams 2K with what he does boost. He makes KP a lot better, and maybe that's why I like KP's. Monty Williams in a diamond shoot is the same thing. So much is because I got Don Nelson. One step ahead of him at number five, cracking the top five is Galaxy Opal David Robinson. This card who's for the who's number four? Am I missing something? Who's number four? Is he putting LeBron James? Longevity in the reward might got it. I mean, he just might got it. He's seven one seven five wingspan hot spots from both corners. I mean, Luca did come out the exact same day as him, so I think Luca gets the longevity award. To be honest, he came out early March, and it's almost end of April, and we're still. I mean, Luca came out the same day. Five card in my team. Great three ball, great speed, good interior perimeter. You know, can get a boost. D Rob base on quick. The only problem anybody can ever say about style. this David Robinson card is that he shoots a lot of fools. He has big dribble style. The guy can't move. Which I 100% I agree with. I know David Robinson shoots a lot of fools because I've shot a lot of fools with the card, but we can't overstate what he does in the defensive end of the court. Oh, he's ridiculous. I agree. He was top five for me as well. One. I mean, a lot of people might prefer Patrick Ewing. For me, it's not close. Give me David Robinson. If you he's want to run him in center, in. you can. I think his best position he's is that Brown. power forward position. And this this one right here is going to be he's the most put, interesting one on okay, my entire list. Okay, okay, I'm cool. Bob Nedelicki, number four. I'm cool with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Bob Nedelicki is a very much like, some people can't shoot with him. I am perfectly fine. In the right hands, Bob Nedelicki could well be number one. I am perfectly fine. Oh, thank God he didn't put LeBron on this list. Thank God he didn't put LeBron on this, this, this list. I am perfectly fine with Bob here, here at number four. I am perfectly fine with that. I have nothing against this list, except for maybe Giannis outside that, but it's Ty, so Giannis is going to be there. I actually don't mind his list. Coming in at number the Top four, three are a formality as well. You guys might be asking why. 
I can't stress enough how important it is to have a super, super fast release in my team. Sash and Bob Nedeglecki might have the quickest release in the entire game, combined with the fact that he also comes with quick triple style. Here's your oh, yeah. He's ridiculous. He gets it off, man. And, and it's one of those things when I play against Bob Nedeglecki, I try baiting a pass. The next thing I know, I'm trying to recover, and the shot's already gone from his hands. It's just one of those yeah, things. I agree. 86 three ball, 90 speed, 95 I'm for Blake, but I, I'm perimeter. not going to disagree. Those things, again, with Don Nelson... He boosts the three ball speed perimeter and interior to make them even better. Defensively, super complete. Come to a Hall of Fame bullet, quick first step, sniper, catch, shoot, corner specialist. This card is so undervalued in 2K. And I get it, it's because he's the unlimited. He's not undervalued, it's really hard to get the unlimited reward. It's a reward, and I guess that makes a ton of sense. But Bob Nedelecki is him in my team. If you are good at the game, he's a card I strongly, strongly, strongly I agree. recommend. I agree. Right now, he's a top four card in the game, in my opinion. The fact is, I wouldn't, I would have Bob Nedelecki at like the end of my top ten, but I also don't agree with, don't disagree with him at number four. And again, if he could play small forward, I'd be even higher on the card. But even at power forward, at six nine. You can get away with that with the way he's going to compete on the defensive Sadie. end of the court. Coming in as my Sadie third Luke card in the top three is Dark Matter Cedric Maxwell. Yeah. I was talking about D-Rob for longevity rewards. Cedric Maxwell might just got it, though. I mean, Luka Doncic really also came out before Cedric Maxwell. They might defensively absolutely elite, playmaker wise elite. The worst part about this card is him is his shooting, right? But again, you give him Don Nelson, which if you locked in Cedric Maxwell, you should be able to afford Don. 96 three ball, 99 perimeter. And then his shooting negative doesn't even, it's not a negative anymore, right? What was a negative becomes He's a positive very jump quick. shot three round, very quick, quick dribble style, Kobe size of the He's game. ridiculous. In the half court, Luke I don't and know MJ if didn't anybody exist. that moves at. If Luka and MJ didn't exist, he's the number one in the game. If Luka and MJ didn't exist. Also, I think if Cedric's number three, you got up his eye on someone near, somewhere in your top 10, but it is what it is. As fluid as Cedric Maxwell. I just don't. He's absolutely elite in my team in a card that I am very, very, very high on. Again, I might be higher on Cedric Maxwell than the average person, but I'm okay admitting it because this dude is absolutely elite. At number two, two. a card I hate putting at number two. And Jordan, number one. Is Luka Doncic. I like Luka on next gen as the best overall card in the I game, agree. but the problem is on current gen, he's okay. I'm not going to say he's bad on current gen because he's definitely not bad on current gen. Still a top five or so pop point guard in the game. He's just not nearly as overpowered. Still Hall of Fame clamps interceptor, shooting wise, immaculate, playmaker wise, solid. Comes down to the Luka Doncic base on very quick with shifty trips. Yep. I keep talking about the longevity reward, but what you guys got to realize is all of Luka, D-Rob, and Cedric came out in early March. And that is crazy to me. I mean, we're at the end of April. Yeah. We're still talking about three of the top five coming out in early March. Yeah. I am so, so, so high. But and then out of position was the 1st of April, I think. I still had a fully functional Achilles when out of position came out. So I think it was 1st of April. Luka, if you're on next gen, I don't want to say a must-have card, but nearly a must-have card. And a nearly must-have card if you're on current gen is the dark. Jesus, out of position was March 25th. Wow, it was Metamorphosis 1st of April. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Matter Michael Jordan. I Jordan don't one. know I what it is about Michael Jordan. I agree, he's the best. But his price has just continued to go. Because he's he's getting rarer and he's still still the best point guard in the game. I'm going to check it right now to make it's like sure like 1.2 mil or right something track, but I looked the other day, and yeah, right now Michael Jordan is 800,000 MT. He's I mean, nearly a million MT. He's more than a mil now. He's more than a mil. I hate to break it to you. If you're on current gen, he is the man with the plan. Incredible. I mean, he might be on next gen as well. It's just Lucas slightly better. Release, quick dribble style, all at Trey Young. Six, which I still to this day am not comfortable with, but if you play pro M, you're good with them. Scotty yeah. behind the back. So honestly, I don't disagree with any of these, except for I would probably put in uh, Zion or Blake instead of Giannis. Otherwise... Good list, Ty. Genuinely, genuinely good list. Don't disagree with any of them. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Go sub to Ty. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.